Little jiggle still in the center. Couple more minutes. We have two Red Cross kitchens here and they're manned by Red Cross people and they're putting out like up to 14,000 meals a day. And uh, right now we have some actual chefs from Texas that have volunteered. Of course, we're chefs and we're experts at feeding people. This is what we do, this is what we love to do. And it's part of the community and serving the community. It's part of our civic duty. Food is prepared in this kitchen. This is called Henry's Kitchen. It's a uh, 51 foot, uh, 53 foot trailer that um, has three tilt skillets, uh, a couple of convection ovens, a steam kettle. Uh, it's a complete kitchen, can produce 10,000 plus meals a day. We went out and bought spices ourselves so that we could make the food taste good. Well, at any given time, we basically have four or five chefs because these kitchens are very narrow, so you can only fit that many people in there. If you're getting 300, yeah. so that would give you 500. Oh, they did. And we have 10 trucks working out of uh, this kitchen area. And we uh, fill the trucks, they'll be pulling up here, and we fill the trucks with the food, which is in Cambros, and it stays hot or cold for many, many hours. And we have designated routes where we know people are in need, and the trucks will either do a fixed feeding, meaning they park the truck and the people know to come to the herb, and we hand out hot meals, uh, which would be packaged in clamshells. We give them snacks and, and water. Right back across, water and snacks today, water and snacks. This is the American Red Cross with water and snacks. Water and snacks. Okay, well, we can take care of you. Anybody else need water? I do. You need water. Yes, sir. Okay. I mean, whatever, whatever you got, I do. Hey, Mark, how you doing? I saw your truck, and there's no food services available, so just decided to come get me a meal today. look up sometimes and you just can't, you don't know where to turn, and if you see that cross, <laughs> I know they're there to help, so I'm going to come in. <laughs> Red Cross is always on time. Before, after the storm, they was here. Every time we think we need them, they was here. Couldn't be no better than that. 